Howdy, I'm Tex, and I just bought 7,500 square foot of literal volcano here on the island of Hawaii for $10,000. And for the next two days, me and my son Axe will be camping, fishing, and exploring all that this unique volcanic oceanside landscape has to offer. And also figuring out where we're gonna poop out here. And we want you to join us on the adventure. Bye, I love you, I'm gonna miss you. I love you, don't get swallowed up by lava. I'll give you my best shot. All right, folks, the so probably the craziest part about buying this 7,500 square foot patch of volcano is that I haven't actually seen it yet. I bought it sight unseen. So Axe and I are on our way to the airport to catch a plane from Oahu to the big island of Hawaii to actually set eyes on this land. Well, you haven't gone there yet? No. Oh. I've never seen it before. <laughs> fishing gear and a pooping solution. I'm gonna figure out how we're gonna poop out there in the middle of a lava field. So we're here at a local fishing shop called S. Tokunaga store. Hello. Hi, you need a basket? Oh this place is huge. Look at this. Oh, that's a cute little fishing pole. This one. This is 50% off. We can use this for bait fish. All right, so we got the hook up here. We even got some of our camping gear too, so. We're gonna check out and get out of here. <laughs> so last time I bought fishing gear here on the big okay. island, I gave it away to somebody. This time we're keeping it because we own a lava field, y'all. I don't know where we're gonna hide this in the lava field, but. <laughs> so shopping for fishing tackle always makes us very hungry, right, X? Yeah. So now we're gonna get an acai. Feet. Turn left onto Kilauea <laughs> Avenue. So now we're gonna get an acai bowl. Acai bowls are ordered. We have leftover breakfast bacon here. And Axe is eating deer jerky from the deer that we killed a few episodes back. Look at how huge this rosemary plant is. You can smell it from here. It's oh, like... this rosemary plant it smells so good. You can smell it from here. Mm. So they also sell these homemade pickles here. Very good. They're really good. Oh my gosh, look at that. <gasps> Acai bowls are delicious, y'all. If you haven't had one, you need to try one. It's so good. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, groceries, check. A rambutan tree to plant on our new lava field, check. Behold, the poop solution. It's your own portable toilet. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. A bunch of random stuff from Walmart, check. All right, so we're done shopping, we got everything we need, and we got about an hour between us and figuring out whether or not I made a very stupid investment. <laughs> so evidently we're passing mango paradise. So many mangoes up there. Mango land, that sounds oh like the land God. I wanna be at. There's like so many mangoes, is it? doubt that would be possible. folks here we are wow this is a lava field 
Look at this. Oh man. This lava is about, I think 1990s is when this flow, it was like right around 1990 when this flow took the neighborhood that was here. So the neighborhood that was here is buried about up to 50 feet below us or something like that. All right, so. so the boundary is like, you see that little pole? With all oh yeah, 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 okay, that blue, Yep. That blue deal, that's my boundary marker. All right, so this is my neighbor, and he built his house over here by stacking bags that are filled with cinder, like this pile over here. That's how he built his house, and then put a roof on it. That's pretty cool. Uh, pumpkin. And there's Pumpkin. Hey, Pumpkin. You gonna be our neighbor, huh? Hello, how you doing? There's Pumpkin. Yeah. Do you smell tracker on us, huh? Look at that sunset. Is that a $10,000 view or what? <laughs> Well, I wouldn't pay $10,000 just to come out and see it. <laughs> All right, folks, so I just spent a little bit of time getting to know the two neighbors here, and now it's almost dark, and we got to get our tent set up, so let's get to work. So this is what they call cinder. It's just crushed up lava rocks. And it's perfect for putting a tent on. Yeah, it's perfect for putting the tent on. Wish I could have shown you more of the property tonight. We're going to show you tomorrow whenever it gets light again. All right, well, no fancy dinner tonight. We just got a uh, hot dog on a spork roasted on a camp stove here <laughs> over the <laughs> propane flame. <laughs> Pickles and sausage, dinner of champions. That's legit good. <laughs> Surprisingly delicious. All right, well, I wanted to explore this property more, but there were some boundary issues. We had to sort some things out with the neighbors here. They, it, it was getting pretty dicey there for a little bit, but we worked it out, and that took a lot of time. So anyways, Axe and I are going to play some Switch, hit the hay. We'll see you in the morning. We'll explore everything that Lava Land has to offer. Camping, fishing, exploring, falling into lava tubes unexpectedly. You never know what could happen. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning from Lava Land. That's what I'm gonna call this place from now on. <laughs> it's Lava Land. <laughs> so this is what it looks like, y'all. This is the lava plot. Hey, doggy. It's okay. Yeah, I'm gonna be straight with y'all. This place is dirt cheap for a reason. <laughs> That's the whole Kilauea over there. At any minute, could just open up a fissure right underneath our butts here and incinerate anything that we invest in this property. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. So since I didn't get to give you the full tour yesterday, let's tour Lava Land. So here we have a giant pile of broken up lava. Hardened, broken up just perfectly. But check this out, look at this. The lava rock here, it still reflects the liquid state of the lava as it cooled and hardened. That's how new this is. It's only 30 years old, and for rocks, that is not very old. But life is already coming back here. Look at these ferns. Isn't that cool? They're everywhere, all up in these crevices. It's so neat looking at how this lava hardened right in its fluid state, just twisting and churning. It almost looks like a blanket that's just laid out all wrinkled on a bed. And this is the rambutan tree that we bought to plant here. So one of our corners is right here. It extends out that way. Here's the border of the property line. Somebody put some stuff up right here. And the other stake is right there. So if you draw a line straight that way, that's our property. All this right here, all of this lava rock is ours. <laughs> no, actually we're not stealing anybody's coconut trees. <laughs> we can make our own. In fact, guess what? So there's some state land right over here and I saw a bunch of coconut trees there and I think we could go and maybe we could find a sprouted coconut. Or just get get a coconut and stick it on the ground. Yeah, yeah but, but we remember how they fall their sprout, the coconut sprout. So we're gonna look for coconuts to try to plant a coconut tree here. That would be so cool. We have ferns here crevices that you can fall and bloody up your knees on and uh yeah folks that's about it that's lava land it's just a bunch of lava oh my gosh our neighbor is growing a pineapple right there how does that work i don't know but for real though i'm so excited about what we're going to do here we're going to build a survival tiki cabin maybe plant coconut trees plant all kinds of plants but all of that can wait today is all about adventuring and fishing and the ocean is about a 25 minute hike that way let's get some breakfast get our gear ready and head out exploring and fishing all right, folks, we are geared up for fishing, had a little breakfast. It's a beautiful day to go hiking and fishing. Look how twisted and gnarled that is. 
Oh my gosh, it's just like writhing and twisting as it hardens. Look at that. You just kind of break it up. I tell you what, they have every kind of shack style built out here that you can think of. They've got clear plastic panels. They've got this one that appears to be made of some kind of concrete, really artistic. And they all use rain catchment, so all the roof space is used to run off to gutters. It runs down into a catchment system that whether it's a big tank or a swimming pool or all kind of stuff. And this lava here, it's got all this uh, glass-like coloration, almost uh, obsidian-like. Very hard looking. Oh, that is obsidian. Look at that. Wow. See how sharp that is? That, that could cut you good. Yep. They use this for like arrowheads and stuff. Yep. Mm -hmm. The Aztecs. Yeah, obsidian is extremely rare here in Hawaii. It's only found on the big island. It's the only place they've ever uncovered it. I'm not sure that uh, geologists would call that what we just had, obsidian. But uh, it's definitely close. Sure. Golf ball. <laughs> Do that. It's a pretty decent sized cave here. I wouldn't get under that if you paid me a million dollars. I don't know, maybe for like two seconds. That was definitely. Yeah, all this stuff out here is very unstable. You gotta watch where you step. If that thing is just ready to crumble, crush you. God, this place is just so desolate and beautiful. Yeah, Kilauea is right there. The volcano that did all this. Is it still active? It is still active. There's our path to the sea right there. So the lava poured through here in the 80s and 90s to the ocean. And that over there was left untouched. Got some good looking coconuts up there. Oh, oh nice little coconut growing there. I want to find a newly sprouted one. They're delicious. They have this like foam cake inside. Oh yeah. Look at there. No, that's no, probably. That's already rooting. This would be good to plant though. Yeah, there you go. We'll be back for you, little coconut. Stay there. And here we are, folks. It's kind of windy down here, so I'm going to have to start shouting at you guys so you can hear me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look at that. Oh. Beautiful. That doesn't seem Whew. safe. No, that doesn't seem safe at all. It looks like it's about to fall in the ocean. Yeah, it's pretty rough down here, y'all. Now we got to find a spot to fish. These waves are pretty rough. So fishing out here ain't gonna be easy. Yeah, don't stand on any of these right here. Look at that. Woo! We have to cast far out, because if we cast there, then it's yeah. gonna I think we're out of our league here. We'll figure it out though. So we're hiking down to see if we can find the best spot to throw our poles in. So you can see the new lava flow and the flow that was oh uh, hundreds of years old right here. 30 years old, hundreds of years old. So if you ever want to know how far the waves come, you look for the little puddles. From this puddle right here, all the way to there. Some of those waves are so big that they throw water all the way up here. Woo! Now the reason these waves are so big is because there is nothing stopping them. From here, all the way to the east, to the, <laughs> to the South America, there is nothing stopping the swells. So it's sad, but when you get to these dangerous cliffs near the ocean, there's always these grave sites here from people who were taken by the sea. So we gotta be super, super cautious. They're not actually buried there, but they put that there in remembrance of them because a lot of the times they can never find the body because it was taken out in the ocean. No good fishing spots that way, so we're heading over to Cocotopia, and look at that. Already. There's some coconuts right there. We can just grab it. Nice. Look at there. Got a coconut. Yay. Looks good. Wait, we got two coconuts. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna teach you how to open a coconut here. So what you do is you start at this end right here and you make a little <clears throat> flat end so you can rest the coconut without it spilling. Chop it there, around, until you get a nice flat bottom there and you can rest it. It's not gonna fall over. Now we're gonna get into the water. 
But once you start getting deep, you want to start being careful because you don't want to chop into and start spilling the water out. You want to do that on purpose, not on accident. And then you just start nicking the hard shell that's on the inside, just so, like that. Just nick it all the way around. And once you've done that, wedge your knife in, pry it open. Just like that. All right, what do you think? Give it a try. Try that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. That's definitely in the top five coconuts I've ever had. And that meat right there, that's perfect meat. Mm. Super soft, but not too jelly. Perfect. Mm. Here's another one of these sprouted coconuts here. Yeah, I want to plant this in our lava field there. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Amazing. Mm. Oh my gosh. All right, so once you're done drinking the water, then you want to chop it in half so you can get to the meat there. And the best way to do that is just one good solid cleave. And then you just pry it open. And there's all that coconut meat. Wait, wait, make a coconut spoon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I almost forgot. It actually reminded me that you can actually use these as spoons. A little that we cut off earlier. It's a perfect little spoon for carving out the inside of that coconut meat there. And look at that. And look at that. Super delicious, perfectly nutritious meal here. Coconut water, fat, electrolytes, hydration, the perfect fuel for a hike in the sun like this. And here's the coconut grove here. See one? Oh, that's it right there. Yeah. This one. Oh. There we go. Yay! Just got a little root coming out there, but it might be good. All right, so this is exactly what we're looking for. There may or may not be pound cake inside of this coconut. We'll see. It's already got a root sticking out here. These are harder to cut open. It'll still taste good. All right, see that in there? We're gonna try to pry this open oh so there we are there's that sponge cake but i think this is a little too old it's hardened quite a bit no 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 it's not that's good oh man oh it's sweet i mean it's a little hard a little bit hard but uh good nonetheless and it has the consistency of wet sponge cake well, this coconut meat is hard. It has it's that good. real coconutty flavor that most of y'all know. That is good. This is good stuff, man. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's keep moving. All right, I think we found our spot. Perfect. Yeah, we'll take the advice from those that have come before us. This is the best fishing spot out here because it's the only spot where there's a rod holder here. <laughs> I think we found our only prospect here for good fishing. <laughs> that also might be a good spot, but getting there looks real dangerous. Well, look here. Somebody was uh, night fishing probably and left this. Oh. Hey, it works. Look at that. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to leave it there just in case they want to come back for it. So first thing we got to do is try to get some live bait, which I'm not even sure is possible in these very, very high surf conditions. But if we do catch some, I need to have my bucket full of water. I got to get the water from down in there. Very dangerous. I'm going to have to be really careful. All right, so the key is to time this well. Wait for the biggest waves, run down, snag up some of the water that's up here. Like that one right there. And then get back up here before a bigger wave comes. Here we go, I see a big one coming. Woo! All right, so the battery of my camera died, but I got water and I didn't die. So I'd say that's a success. All right, I got one rig set up here with a little piece of shrimp. We'll see if we catch us some small fish and then work our way up to the big fish. Oh, big jack! That's 
not a jack. Oh, is that a tuna? Oh no. my gosh, look at hey. that. <laughs> That's a fish right there. What is that? I don't know. So I've seen people catch these. I forgot what they were called. So I have to look into what they're called and what the limit is on them. I want to get them in the water here. Woo. Oh, it's not a regulated species. Yay! Nice. We can eat it. All right. All right, so I looked through the list. This is not a regulated species, but I've seen people catch and eat these. I just watched a video of people doing that on these very cliffs about a mile up north of here. So we're gonna eat some fish tonight. <laughs> Woo! All right, Axe, you ready to get your pole in the water? I was trying to catch a small fish, but hey, I'll take it. I got one. You got one? Oh, what? Woo! Still on? Nice! His first cast, he just got it! Alright, there you go. Reel it in. Oh, oh little go fish. Out of the water. Come a little closer. There you go. Oh my! Pull it up. It's flopping about. You got it, come on up. It's a little, it's a ras. Oh, Christmas oh, ras. Oh my gosh, that is big. Look at that. Woo, that's a beautiful fish. So I want this fish to live as long as possible, but that water just isn't enough. I gotta keep it alive while I get more. So I got a little aquarium here for it. Oh no, this aquarium's probably a leak already. Here comes a big one. Woo. <laughs> that one got me soaked, but I got good water there. There you go. You okay? Oh my gosh. Ow. I literally just step back. Max scraped the heck out of his leg. These lava rocks are sharp. Oh. Alright. Well, these ants are sure happy about this fish here. <laughs> We're gonna see if we can catch a real big fish on this. Hey! <laughs> Small dead reef fish as bait for big predators out here evidently isn't the best thing, but we'll see if we get lucky. So you guys, what we are doing is actually extremely dangerous. We're standing next to a cliff here where the only way out is up against those gigantic nasty rocks. And look at these waves. You're not getting out of there. You're gonna have to swim out away from the surf and just hang out there until somebody comes and rescues you. That's gonna be a long time. Falling off of these cliffs is not an option. It's an option if they're crazies with knives coming after you <laughs> and you have to escape. Yeah, if you got crazies coming after you with knives, jump off into the ocean, take your chances there. Unless you're a really good knife fighter. These fish are just stealing our bait right off our hooks. Oh, look at that. That's a nice sized rockfish. Shoot, got it. Ah. See you later, alligator. Woo! Ow! Alright, well, I guess nothing out there wants to eat this. So, Axe is eating some sushi here. I think we're ready for well deserved snack time. Coconut water and ant covered uh, coconut cake. <laughs> and we also got dehydrated deer jerky that Axe and I made from the deer that we shot a couple episodes back. Oh, this jerky is amazing. We got five full bags of this stuff. Alright. So this fish is dead, but it's only been dead for about 15, minutes. 20 minutes, yeah. maybe. Holy gutsness. All right, well, it seems as though the fish aren't biting anymore. We got fish dinner here. We're grateful. We're going to hike on home and watch this beautiful sunset. Oh, my gosh. So gorgeous. Look at that. Yay. It's barely sprouting. I think this might work. Our poles are so tall up here, it's hard walking through these trees. Got to, like, turn sideways and duck. Holy! Wow. 
Yeah, this is a coconut graveyard here. Look at all those. Oh my gosh, X, look at that. What in the world did that? There's no coconut crabs around here. I don't know what could have done that. Coconut crabs don't do that. They crack them in half, just right in half. Oh. Oh, that one. Oh, yes, look. See that, that little tiny sprout. You don't want it to get bigger because it starts going bad inside. One. Oh, that's a little too big. Mm -hmm. So I'm getting these sprouted coconuts to take back to my wife, Trinity, and my daughter, Hummingbird, and our son, Cedar. He's never had one of these. I'm, oh, I think he's gonna love them. I'm really excited to bring these to them. Yeah. I'm getting close. Oh, look at this. I'm so excited to plant this at Lava Land. Look, One day, dirt in it, that will bear coconut fruit for us. Ten years. And in here we hid the second coconut. This is gonna be so good with our fish dinner. And you can't forget my buddy. I told you I'd be back for you. Did you tell him that? I did, I told this coconut tree that I would be back for it, so I'm gonna keep my promise. Plant it in Lava Land. You hear that? Lava Land's pretty big. That's the, the, I think it's koki, koki frogs. Oh, the hori, 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 yeah. They're invasive and whew, when you get a billion of them together in a jungle, it's deafening the noise they make. How are your arms holding up? Ow. <laughs> you're holding, not you're, up, you're holding down. You're gonna have some big biceps tomorrow. We're almost there. All right, good old lava land. We made it home. Let's get the grill going and get that fish cooked up. We're burying those roots right there. Keep them moist overnight. And tomorrow I'll find a good place to plant them. Oh my gosh. These scales are tight. Wow. I can barely scale this thing. Oh, you guys, oh, look at that. Oh, man. So this fillet knife was just set down point up. And I flicked my hand, I didn't notice it was there, and I just buried the tip of that into my hand. Do not leave knives with the point up. Such a dumb idea. This is just pouring out blood here. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Oh man, you guys, there's so much. I'm gonna need a tourniquet for this one. Oh my gosh, I just did it again. I cannot believe this, you guys. I'm just so, I'm just so foolish right now. I just, did you just see me do that? I just flicked my hand, I set that point up again, and I flicked my, I can't believe this. That's an even worse cut. I am losing so much blood here. Oh, I can't believe I did that. How is it even possible that I just did that twice? I literally did the same thing just now twice. I'm losing it. There's something there. I, I, I gotta be careful tonight. Oh, there's that cat. Hey, kitty. Is your finger right? Yeah, it's just, <laughs> and I just went whoo, and just whacked it against the tip. And then I said to the camera, ax, I, I swear I said it, I said, Oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. I left the point of the knife up and I just flicked my hand and then I set the knife right back down after I told, you You guys heard me. I set the knife right back down with the point, point up, up, rinsed my hands off again, shook my hands again and stabbed the knife right into my finger again. <laughs> Literally like a couple, like it was like Groundhog Day. And I'm gonna, I'm like, I, it made me trip. I'm like, what's happening? Did I just do that? I, I can't trust myself right now. Yeah, I was like, should I bring the first aid kit? Mm. I'm so glad I brought it. Oh my gosh. I think I must have hit like a vessel or something, you guys, because it just won't stop bleeding. Like, uh, those fillet knives are so sharp and pointy. Man, they can do some damage. The one that's bleeding still is the second one. I mean, the first one. Got a band aid on there. Hopefully, that stops bleeding here soon. 
So I put the fish up on this cactus right here. And it's a good thing I did because I left a chunk of that wrasse right there and it's gone. While I went and bandaged my finger, the cat came and got it. So it's a good thing that I did not leave the whole fish there because it would have been drug off by that cat. Yeah, these spikes act as a good deterrent. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Ow. All right, you guys, well, I am super excited because I finally have an opportunity to use this grill I bought a year ago. <laughs> it's called the BioLite, and it's a grill that creates its own electricity using the heat from the fire that you put inside of it. The heat from the fire hits this, and it generates electricity. There's a battery bank here, and you can charge your phone or run stuff on it. It's really cool. So it just fits right in this hole, just like that. And then separately, I bought this grill attachment. Look at that. And I could lay the whole fish on there. So this is Kiabe, and splitting this with a hatchet is like, whew, not easy. A lot of nostalgia going on here. I'm using the Adventure Agent saw and hatchet <laughs> that we no longer sell on our website. <laughs> I'm super glad to have them right now. this thing is cool it's got this little flap you open at the top you can close it when you want the flame to come out here to grill and open it when you want the flame to come out there so you can feed more sticks in there <laughs> you hear that oh what in the world a fan a heat generated fan what Oh, look at that. <laughs> a fan just came on. Heat generated, probably. Oh my gosh. Whoa. This thing, it has instructions. It probably tells you exactly how to do it. There's a button down here. You push the button and it turns the fan on. And look at those flames coming out. That'll cook it. That'll cook it good. <laughs> oh, text. <laughs> Leave it to a man to not read the instructions, you know. That's a stereotype. I'm sure a lot of you men read instructions. <laughs> Just this one doesn't. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, the chub fish is almost done. Yes, we figured out what it is. It is a chub fish, or they call it Nanui here in Hawaii. I'm excited to try it out. People say it's actually pretty good. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Fish goo. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, uh, the bones just came right off. Look, it comes right off the bone. Yeah. Might be a little too cooked. Might, might could use some butter, actually. That tastes like a lobster. Oh, really? Yeah, try it first. All right, let's see. It does taste like lobster. So much. Wow. Lobster oh. crab. That's some good fish, man. Oh, mean, it's like crab. I like that. That's uh, good. I gotta have butter with that. I'm sorry. I gotta get some butter. That's amazing. Oh yeah, chubby chub chub. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one more for good measure. Mm. All right. All right. Well, while the butter is melting, we're gonna try this ras out, you guys. Pure mush. That's pure mush. <laughs> Yeah, these wrasse, uh, they're very uh, soft. Whew. And that texture isn't necessarily the best. It's you not know? that bad taste, though. Mm. Hey, that tastes good. I like it. I like the skin. Mm. <laughs> that beautiful, colorful wrasse skin tastes really good. If you're real quiet, let's see if they can hear it. Yeah, there's a drum circle going on over here. Lots of bongos and stuff. All right, we're gonna try this with butter now. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, that's so good. Yeah, it might just be that I'm really hungry, but this fish is delicious. <laughs> I like it. Mm, especially that butter. Hummingbird, I wish you were here to taste this. I know you're watching this thinking, oh my gosh, I want some of that fish. Someday, we'll have you out here to lava land and you can catch yourself some chub. Oh, looks like kitty cat cleaned up here. Nice. Coming in. Yeah, Orion Nebula and Salmon. <gasps> oh my gosh, that is so cool. So Axe's friend Darian has a telescope and he just sent us this picture of Saturn that he took. That's pretty sweet. And then that is the Orion Nebula. All right, folks, so we got the fish. Now we're gonna play some Switch. Is that a hard hat? Banana beanie. Oh, a banana beanie? <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, it's time to go to bed. We'll see you for breakfast in the morning. Good morning from Lava Land, day two. Let's get breakfast going. And Lava Land was not kind to you yesterday. <laughs> so for breakfast we have ribeye steaks here for Axe. And I'm having steak, eggs, and bacon. Cheers, y'all. is an avocado. All right, folks, so the moment that you've all been waiting for is finally here. Tex, how are you going to poop in lava land? Well, I've got the solution here. It's just a portable toilet from Walmart. <laughs> and folks, there is no privacy in lava land. None at all. And so until we build our off-grid tiki survival cabin, I've got to do the do in our tent. <laughs> All right, well, that was just as uncomfortable as you probably imagined it would be. <laughs> Grow, little buddies. Yep, I like wait, that wait, idea. Wait. We should plant a mango tree next. Oh yes. All right folks, well it's been great out here at Lava Land. I am so excited because next week we are coming back out to build a tiki cabin. And we have a surprise guest flying out here to help us. Well, we gotta hurry up and get out of here. We got a plane to catch back to Oahu. And we're gonna bring those surprise coconuts to Trinity and Hummingbird and Cedar. So let's head out. So last time we were here in the Big Island, I bought a bunch of fishing gear and I ended up giving it to a family that was here before we left. This time, because I actually bought a place here, we're gonna be coming back, but I don't wanna leave my stuff out there for fear that it's gonna get stolen. So I got the cheapest storage unit I could and I'm gonna keep my stuff in here while we're gone. All right, so we missed our flight from Hilo, so we're gonna have to drive all the way to Kona to get a flight. How are you doing, huh? Hi. Hey. Oh, yes, I, I just went in. <laughs> oh, no way. I got a surprise for you. Hey, I love you. I missed you. Oh. You want to see the surprise? Let me show you, okay? Hey. Oh, the baby. It's coming. There's sprouted coconuts? Yes, there's sprouted coconuts. And they have the 
stuff inside I that. Don't I don't know. Like, oh. We'll have to see. We gotta cut them open and see. And they were sprouting. Yeah, look at that. Baby, no, it's not to get near a coconut. Mmm. Try it. Yeah, you can't say that. It's so good. Yeah. You're gonna slice your nose. You're mm. gonna slice yeah, your nose. It's pretty yummy. Yeah. No, no. It's like a surprise. Fun cake. Let's see. Yay! Yeah. There we go. Yeah, Look sponge. at that. Yeah. And it has that oil. Spongy sponge. All right, there you go. Give it a try. I got them. You can um, have some too. We will give you some. Oh, like there's the, we good? You can taste the hard it? coconut is all there. Cedar! I'm gonna try it, it's like spongy. Is it yummy? Mm. I'll tell you, it's just like okay. rock salt. Okay. That's probably what they make coconut flour out of. Yeah. Coconut. No, look, look. <laughs> <one. laughs> He's like, yeah. Can I have one, one bite, Cedar? <laughs> Alright, Trinity, well, we finally did it. It's been our dream to own land in Hawaii for a very long time. Lot of land. And we finally made it, you guys. <laughs> We've reached the pinnacle of success. Yeah, we own a bunch of literal hardened <laughs> lava, mm -hmm. and it is a lava. lot of fun. So the yeah, thing. the floor, the whole floor was lava. The so floor was lava. when when are you coming to Lava Land? <laughs> I don't know. Lava. All right, folks. So we had a lot of fun out there, and I'm actually going to be going back out to build a rough sort of tiki cabin, off grid sort of setup there. Strawman uh, Diego is going to help us do it. He's flying out. So I'm excited about that, but soon we will not be able to go there at all because I don't know we're why. getting close Can't here <laughs> and, I, and I'm not going to be leaving Oahu probably after about a week from now. So anyways, uh, we're going to have as much fun as we can there and then we'll put that off for a while because we have a lot more fun coming here. Yeah. Yep. No work involved. Just no work. Just fun, fun for me. <laughs> no. I just get to hold the sweet baby. And no, no. It's, just it's a lot of fun and we're excited. <laughs> it's a lot of work for both of us, but yes. mainly for her. Like 99%. For everyone. All right. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that video. Remember, life's an adventure. And love is the key. And love is a who. And love loves you. Yep. We'll see you on the next adventure. Bye. 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 He knows what's up. Yeah. And hit that subscribe button if you want to see us build a tiki off grid cabin on Lava Land. We'll see you on the next adventure. We want you to join us on the adventure. And we want you to join us. <laughs> also, you. And you and you can join us on the adventure.